In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat man coverage in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses on, in on how to help you get better at Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better, I give out four videos every single day that are designed to help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. So if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. It's completely free to subscribe on YouTube. It helps out my channel a ton. And also research shows only 40% of you that are watching this video right now have actually already subscribed. That means that 60% of you guys have not hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, please. And thank you so much. We're gonna jump right in here. I don't wanna waste any time. Um, if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of the screen. That's my personal cell phone number. Let's dive right in. I want to talk about man coverage and what I have been dealing with uh, in weekend league. And it's going to be kind of hard to show you here because I don't have two one-step aheads. Uh, one-step ahead does certainly make this uh, tougher to beat, but I'm just going to jump right in and show you. So real quick from our coaching adjustments perspective, you'll notice these are the coaching adjustments, kind of standard uh, stuff right here. And then we're just going to put, you know, cover two man out there. And I'm going to show you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage a couple different ways. We're going to show you a couple of different plays um, that are samples of our New England guide. New England's the best offense in Madden, 100%. And the link is in the description if you want to get the full scheme. But um, I'm going to talk about a very specific route. So um, first and foremost, you have to understand that man coverage, especially one step ahead, the first and form, uh, foremost thing that you have to realize is one step ahead means they're going, excuse me, they're going to be ahead of you on your first cut. That does not mean they're going to be ahead of you on your second cut. Okay. So what we want to do as far as that is we want to do a couple things. The first and foremost thing is we want to make sure that we're unbumpable. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this in this video i'm also going to show you another tactic which is we want to use double move type of routes to be able to get open so a couple things we're going to do from this u trips uh formation first foremost we're going to go over pa fork uh, which is one of the best man beaters in the game we're going to go over um the play pat slot out that's one of my favorite personal plays in the game we're also going to go over the play tight end whip hb slago and then the last play we're going to cover uh, is the play, uh, if I can find it, where's it at? Tight end, it's like, I think it's called tight end out, tight end deep out, yeah. Okay, so that's the U trips, and we're going to come out and pat slot out every single play. So, here's the deal uh, with man-to-man -man coverage, and this is the way a lot of people are running it right now. But basically what they're doing is they're going to, you you have to bank, almost bank on the fact that they are going to use her over the middle of the field, Okay. Almost 100% guarantee you that if you're playing someone that's running man-to-man -man coverage, they are going to use her over the middle of the field, okay? So they're going to take away deep post routes. They're going to take away slant routes. They're going to take away drag, stuff like that, okay? The other thing that I can almost 100% guarantee you uh, if they're playing the meta man-to-man -man coverage is there is going to be somebody in the deep middle zone. Okay, it might be a safety, might be a linebacker. There's going to be somebody that is in the deep middle zone. So as you can see right here, we'll put this guy in the deep middle. Okay, And then pretty much from there, you can almost bank that there's always going to be a curl flat zone. Something to help them if they want to take away the deep crossing route. So this leaves you with a formula for beating man-to-man -man coverage. And I want to show you two simple ones and then we're going to go in a little bit more advanced. The simplest way to beat man in Madden, 100% true. The easiest way to beat man coverage in this game is to use slant routes. I know it sounds super simple. It's because it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tight end on an out route and then I'm going to take my uh, Chris Godwin right here and I'm going to put him on a slant route. That's all I'm going to do. And what you'll notice is this slant route, nine times out of ten, will beat man-to-man -man coverage as long as, he doesn't get, as long as he doesn't get a hit. So one of my favorite tactics, one of my favorite things to do out of U-trips, I love to motion, right? I love to motion the slot receiver, okay? So what I would, what I would recommend doing is something like this. You take Chris Godwin, and it could be any play. Take your tight end, put him on an out route, 
take your running back, put him on a flat route, and then take both of these receivers here on the left side, and we're going to put them on slants. And they're just going to cross each other. This motion snap right here is the key. When you motion slants, they get better separation. But as you can see here, both slants are going to beat man. Now, you might be watching this and saying, well, what if they use the slant route? That's a great point, and it's honestly something that is very likely to happen. So uh, we're going to show you kind of how to deal with that in that in that example. So we got that user over the middle of the field that we have to deal with. So another tactic that I really like to do is I like to use a simple curl flat type of setup. So what I'll do is I'll take Antonio Brown, I'll put him on a slant, and then I might take Mike Evans and Mike Evans can be on several different routes, right? He could be on a slant as well. He could also be on like a skinny post route. So maybe you're using something like, um, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend a skinny post, but like the post that he's on right here from Pat Slot Out would be a, a better route, okay? And then I'm going to have Fournette on his route. And then all I'm going to do is when I get Godwin across the formation, I'm just going to put him on a curl and just snap him right here. And you'll see that this curl route is going to do a really good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage because when you motion snap him, he's going to get that separation. You're going to have that ability to be able to low ball and pass lead it to the inside. The trick with man-to-man -man coverage, in my opinion, is to change it up, though, because you don't want to attack the middle of the field um, because you don't really want to throw the ball to the user side, right? So because you don't want to attack the middle of the field, then you can use other things as well. For example, um, when you, if you take a look at this PA fork play, if I were to motion this route uh, for Mike Evans, right? If I were to motion him over, he's going to beat man to man. Nine times out of 10 is going to beat man to man. So what I could do is something as simple as this right here. I could take my running back. I could put him on a flat route. I would highly recommend if you're playing Mutt and you're dealing with this, you need to have either Hot Route Master or a tight end with tight end apprentice. That is huge. It will really help you a lot because of what I'm about to say. The next thing I would do is take Gronk and I'd put him on a, a post. And then I would take Brown, put him on a slant. And then with Godwin, I would put him on a whip route. Because if they're shading coverage over to the top, oftentimes that whip route, especially if you have a good route runner there, will get separation. All that to say, you're going to have this motion right here. And what you'll notice is if there's no safety over the top, a lot of times you'll be able to actually pass this up, click on, and you can get over the top of man-to-man -to -man coverage. Because remember, one step ahead means they are always ahead on the first cut. It doesn't mean they're ahead on the second cut. One other thing that I want to share with you, and this is a super, and again, I'm going to base it most out of U trips. This can cross apply to other stuff. 100% can cross apply to other stuff. It's just U trips to me is what I like to run the most. I think it's the best formation in the game for beating every defense um, because you can max protect out of it. You can motion snap. You can glitch out coverages. It's really, really good for all that. So I like this formation and I like to try to you know, base things out of this. But if you want to do this out of trip side in, you can do this out of trip side in. If you want to do it out of bunch, you can do it out of bunch. You know, we cover all that in our New England ebook because New England has all of those formations. But the next thing I want to show you is another uh, another little tactic that you can use uh, to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So you have the double move. Another thing you can do, especially if you have a hot route master quarterback, with if you're playing mutt, a lot of you are running Rich Gannon, like I am with hot route master and gunslinger. So what you would do is you would put a post corner here. You see this right here, Mike Evans is on a post corner. So I'm going to have him on this post corner route, and I'm just going to motion to the left. You'll see that it should flip. See that right there? See it flip? So what's going to happen is with a one-step edge corner, when you – You'll be able to, because he's one step ahead, he's automatically going to be overplaying the double move. And again, I know this is super simple, but hang with me because I think it's one of the biggest mistakes that I made uh, in Weekend League this week was I made stuff way too hard on myself. I tried to beat it in one play. Just work the ball up and down the field, and you'll be amazed at how well it will work for you. But anyways, all that to say... If I just put a simple, it's just a simple post corner route. And you can do this on either side. You don't have to motion him over. You could do it like this right here. And what you'll notice is it's a low ball right on that cut. 
and he'll be able to get separation against that defender. Um, you don't have to low ball it if you don't want to, if you don't want to. But most of the time, people are not going to. I guarantee you, if you play someone that knows what they're doing with this stuff, they're not going to press coverage you. Because if they press coverage you a lot of times, they'll get, you know, you'll be able to one play it. Right, you'll be able to get over the top of it and be able to get separation. What you'll see is a lot of this coverage right here. And again, you see you see that right there with Alexander. Now, if Alexander were to have one step ahead, he would not make that play. It's because he doesn't have it. And that's actually it's actually interesting that that is um, the way he's able to make that play. But hang with me here. We're going to show you some other stuff that will help you uh, with man-to-man -man coverage. Motion. Um, these little routes right here to Godwin. Um, in Mutt, you can get Deion Sanders and you can put Playmaker on him. These routes are so effective. Even without Playmaker, um, what you'll notice, if I snap like right here, you'll see against man coverage, he's going to beat him. And it's just wide open. That's a nice check down. And the thing is, it's five yards. Like, it's five yards. Like, you can't be mad about that. Another thing you'll notice is with U-trips in particular, you'll oftentimes get these little alignment issues when you motion players over. The beauty is it also affects it when you motion him back. So you'll see here, if I motion him here, it's going to create this challenge for him, right? But if I motion him, let's say I put him on, um, let's say I just put him on, let's just say like I put him on a uh, in route, right? Something simple. And I motion him back and snap it. A lot of times you'll be able to snap the ball right there. And be able to then have a have a little bit of an opportunity. You'll see here, this is with shaded coverage over top. Now Brady can't get the ball down the field, but oftentimes you will get a step. So a couple different options. If you want to get the full U trips offense, there's a link in the description of the whole New England offense. But if you text me, I actually have a video that breaks down over an hour of material on this offense. Shows you how to one play touchdown, everything. So you can always text me. My number is 812. 216-3644. But last thing I want to share with you as far as it pertains to beating minimum coverage. The double move is really good, especially when you motion it. One other thing that I find to be really underrated, and I know that I love, I love personally to throw quick routes, right? Whip routes are really, really good. And what you can do is you can basically take your running back and just put him on a swing route. And then I could take Godwin and I could put him on that whip route right here, little little whip route. And then what I could do is I could have that slant coming from Mike Evans, as you can see right here. This play looks super simple, but it tore, it kills man-to-man -man coverage. You snap him right here, and what you'll notice is this whip route will get so much separation, as you can see, and you're going to be able to get out and beat man-to-man -man coverage that way as well. So these are some basic beginner things of how you can beat man-to-man -man coverage. Obviously, another thing I want to hit on, and I do want to hit this on this before we take off, um, the PA fork. Um, a lot, and again, a lot of you are running hot route master quarterbacks, so you can get these out and ups because you can just hot route them. Like it, this out and up to Brown, one of the things that I like to do is something like this. I'll take Godwin and I'll put him on a stop and go. And then I'll just motion him to the left side. You'll see it's going to flip him right there. Snap him on the move. And look at how much more separation he gets. My Brady, Brady killed me on the throw right there because I got the lovely throw out of sack. But he will get so much more separation on this, on this play. Literally, if they are if they're doing this, this meta coverage that a lot of people are doing, one of my strategies is I'll go PA fork. I'll put Brown on a slant. And then I'll take uh, my tight end. I might put him on like a block and release flat route or something. Put the running back on a block and release flat. Put Godwin on that stop and go. Motion him to the left side. Let him get out there a little bit. And you'll notice if there's no safety deep, I got a pretty good chance at getting over the top of that defense. Right? I can get over top of it on both sides of the field. The motion of it does help, in my opinion, tremendously with that stop and go. Uh, that stop and go route. So if you have a hot route master, um, this is another, uh, just a simple little play that you can really do. And you can do it from anything, but just motion these over to these stop and goes. Just try it. Um, I'm telling you right now, you'll have a lot of success, as you can see right there. Um, if he gets over the top of that, you're going to do really, really well. Um, it's just a simple way to, to really deal with man-to-man -man coverage well. Um, obviously, if you don't have 
if you don't have hot route master <coughs> then you can just simply run the pa fork and in that situation what i would do is just run pa fork and then godwin's going to be on a slant so typically their user is going to go with godwin uh, and then you'll be able to get something else. And as you can see here, I can actually pass this to the right as well uh, if I wanted to kind of turn him to the outside. So a lot of opportunities you have to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Beating man-to-man -man coverage is going to become a lot easier whenever you have better route running too. Uh, in regs, you don't always have that better, that great of route running. In mutt, you have uh, a little bit better route running, so you can do a little bit more. But guys, don't make the same mistake I did. If you're facing man coverage, don't be afraid to take this route right here. This route is so simple, but literally it's seven yards. And I know I know it's it, it's just super simple. And don't be afraid to call tight end whip and put the slot on a zig and motion him over. Like these are little things that you can do that will result in instant success against man-to-man -man coverage and will ultimately win you more ball games. So don't try to one play everything with a, with uh, me and coverage this year. Try to just work the ball up against it. But until they patch one step ahead, which hopefully they will do that soon, uh, this is the formula. These are some of the things. If you would like more, um, text me. If you have more questions, text me. Uh, we can help you specifically through that. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be probably playing Xbox tonight. So some of my subs that have Xboxes, uh, really excited to be able to play with you guys uh, tonight on stream. If you have any questions, you can always text me. Like I said, my number's in the description. And if you want to get the full New England ebook, my opinion is the best offense in the game. It's in the description for you. Thanks for your time, guys.